Well, the use of cannabis, both for medical and recreational reasons, is rising in the United States. In 2022, the CDC says more than 60 million Americans used cannabis. Our Dr. Frank McGeorge is here with a closer look at what's behind this trend. Research from University of Michigan finds more than 4 million of that 60 million were licensed medical cannabis patients. Now that is a six-fold increase from 2016. The majority of those patients, well, they're hoping to ease their pain. My studies have shown that people largely use cannabis for chronic pain. Uh, that's the most common reason that they obtain a medical cannabis license from a state that they live in. Patients are using cannabis in a variety of different ways, says U of M researcher Kevin Banke. They might eat, smoke, uh, or use tincture as well as rub a topical product on an inflamed joint or on their skin. And they also sometimes use it in place of uh, other pain medications. Currently, marijuana is labeled as a Schedule One drug, the most restrictive class. But there is talk of it potentially being rescheduled to a Schedule Three drug. If cannabis is officially rescheduled, I think that that's a remarkable benefit in some ways for the scientific and medical community because it acknowledges that cannabis does have medical value, which can jumpstart some of those conversations that many clinicians and patients have been hesitant to have. Banky says it would ideally also ease some of the burdens of doing studies with cannabis, but it won't remove one major hurdle. It doesn't make that much of a difference at this point scientifically because if cannabis remains a controlled substance, I, as a scientist, my colleagues as scientists, still can't access the products that are being sold in dispensaries because none of them have gone through the Food and Drug Administration approval process. Albanke says he and his colleagues have noticed another trend. In many states where cannabis is not legal, people are increasingly using compounds like Delta 8 THC derived from hemp. Now, those are not regulated under the Controlled Substances Act or state marketplaces, so there may be additional concerns about contamination and inaccurate labeling. Back to you.